Hi everybody, it's Andrew Hutchings here, and this video is about, uh, is testosterone an anabolic steroid? And, as you know, I am not a licensed physician, never giving medical advice, only giving educational information, or consolidating medical information, putting it all in one place, presenting it to you along with my opinion. Short answer is yes, testosterone is an anabolic steroid, although you could try to argue that anabolic steroids are simply any molecules or drugs that are derivatives of testosterone. But if you're not trying to pick it apart in, a, in like a semantic kind of way, yes, testosterone is 100% an anabolic steroid. It is the anabolic steroid. It is the naturally occurring anabolic steroid, the main one in the human body. Just because it's natural and everybody has it does not mean it's not an anabolic steroid. And the, the word anabolic steroid sounds like some evil, scary thing. Like, oh, that steroid, it's anabolic. It's a, it's a scary one. But anabolic simply means tissue accruing, like building tissue. And does testosterone help with the building of tissue? Yes, it does. And every anabolic steroid is literally a derivative of testosterone. So basically, testosterone was first isolated back in the 1930s, and then it was later synth chemically synthesized. And after you make a drug, or one that's already naturally occurring like testosterone, you then start altering it to alter different properties about it. So testosterone, for example, it causes the deepening of the voice, it causes facial hair growth, it causes development of the genitalia, it causes body hair growth. It converts into estrogen, causing water retention, it can cause gynecomastia. It's active in muscle tissue to promote protein synthesis and a, a lot of other stuff. Um, it does a lot, but when you tweak with the molecule just a little bit, you can alter those properties. So, for example, anivar, oxandrolone. It's like testosterone, but it's been altered in such a way as to diminish the facial hair and the deepening of the voice while retaining a lot of the muscle building or tissue synthesis building properties. Other steroids like Dianabol, they've been altered in such a way that they're mostly active in the muscle tissue Whereas when they're not in the muscle tissue, they get broken down easier and they're not going to be doing as much outside of the muscles. Um, lots of steroids have been modified so that they aren't converted into estrogen in the body so that you don't get things like gynecomastia or water retention. Um, like Anivar, Winstrol, Mastron, Primabolin, a lot of them. And... Uh, yeah, those are the main ways that, oh yeah, and then they mod you modify some of them by putting an ester on them so they can be injected and slowly released into the body. You modify some of them to make it so that they can be taken orally and they're active. Because testosterone, you would have to inject it, but it would only be good for a few hours for each injection. So that's why you can esterify it and put it in an oil, that way it slowly seeps out of that oil and is at into going into your system over the course of a few days. Or you could methylate it so that it can be taken orally and be active for a few hours or several hours. But yes, that's it. Testosterone is an anabolic steroid. But if you're trying to get... I mean, really, there's no way around it because no matter how you try to... I mean, unless you try to define anabolic steroid as any molecule... Any derivative of testosterone that retains anabolic activity, then by definition, it has to be a derivative of testosterone, which means not testosterone itself. But that would be that, that's a little bit of a weird definition because anabolic steroid means tissue accruing steroid. But it's like de facto that it means a derivative of testosterone. So yeah, testosterone is most certainly an anabolic steroid.
It does occur naturally in all human bodies, unless you have some really weird disorder. Um, and yeah, it's not, it's not a special exception. It's still a steroid. It's 100% a steroid, but taken at the right dosage, it doesn't have to have any negative side effects because it is meant to be in your body, but taking it too high of a dosage, you will have side effects. Taking it too low of a dosage, you will have side effects. Now, the other issue is that it's very difficult to mimic the natural patterns of its concentration, blood concentrations and, your, and bodily concentrations. So normally it's like high at the beginning of the day and it goes down throughout the day. Like it's not straight down, it's like And it's very hard to mimic that, so you may end up being kind of like this throughout the day. Meaning that, well, you may be at the same level at the beginning of the day, you're too high at the end of the day. But if you tried to match it up according to the ends of the day, you'd be too low at the beginning of the day. And if you try to do it by the middle of the day, you'd be a little too low at the beginning, a little too high at the end. So as you see, it's very hard to get it just right when it's not your own body that's producing it. Or... It can be from here and people also, especially females. Uh, so yes, testosterone is an anabolic steroid. That does not make it bad. And I hope you like this video. You can hire me for training advice, consultations, plans, etc. My muscles look small, but trust me, the, the fact that you can even see them through this shirt means that they're... It really makes them look small, but trust me, they're, they're not small. So you, you do want to hire me for training, advice, plans, consultations, whatever. And same thing with diet and supplements, but you cannot hire me for medical advice because that would be illegal. I don't want legal problems. I want a simple, as simple of a life as possible. But you can hire me to find the information consolidate it and present it to you in a way that you can understand along with my opinion and my website is andrewhutchings.org my web my instagram is natural underscore true underscore fitness and um, help me out by liking this video leave a comment leave get it su subscribed if you don't mind maybe someday i'll make enough money off youtube that i can do scientific research that i want to do not just something someone else will pay for and i can share the results with you if youtube won't delete the videos but actually if i had enough money i would just make a, a website that has enough memory on it or whatever so that i can put all my videos on my own website and then you could see them there and they can't be censored and i could get a um decentralized web domain that way it can't be censored off the world wide web hopefully so if you want to see cool science done, you can always donate. But for now, just help me out by leaving a like, and subscribe, a comment, or whatever.